Hi there, thanks very much for tuning in. My name is Michael. Tonight I'm going to be playing Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. I'm going to run through a, a couple of side ops, just explain the mechanics of the game. Um, just in case you uh, happen to be uh, thinking about purchasing it. Okay, so uh, we're in the helicopter at the moment. Uh, this is basically your mobile base of operations. As you can see, Snake is kind of covered in blood there from some past missions that I've done. Uh, you can actually go back to your base and have a shower. That's something I'll do in a minute. So, um, I've got a mother base menu. This basically lets you uh, research new weapons, um, assign staff and so forth. Uh, this is uh, this is the weapons uh, research menu here. So there you go. So there you go. The the silenced pistol, silenced uh, SMG that fires rubber bullets, because you can obviously concentrate on uh, guns that uh, kill or that do non-fatal damage. So in other words, that knock people out and so on. And you can also expand your base uh, using base facilities there. Um, that's something I'm not going to do at the moment uh, because I'm trying to save up enough fuel resources to increase my base development, which basically generates resources. So uh, the theory being the more you put into that, the uh, more resources you build up more quickly. So here's what we're going to look at. So here are the uh, story missions so you can see there's uh, four to choose from you can do those in any order I'm pretty much going through those uh, in order though but what I'm going to do first is a side op now these aren't necessary in order to advance the story but they do provide you with resources that are that are very helpful so this one is Extract the Highly Skilled Soldier 3. Extract the Highly Skilled Soldier from among the enemy ranks. So basically there's a soldier uh, amongst these lots, amongst the lots in this base here shown on the map. And um, your job is to get him out of there. Basically when you extract soldiers, your team then persuades them to join your ranks. So um, I'm gonna select that, move to sign up location, yes. Okay, now this is actually uh, now this is a base that I've already done a story mission in. The safe landing zones are actually quite a long way away from the base. Now, if this was the kind of mission where it didn't require me to bring someone in alive, I would probably just land the chopper right in the middle and crack out the side-mounted machine gun, but um, if I do that, I risk shooting the guy that I've basically got to extract. So I think what I've pretty much got to do is land here, about a mile away, and then um, make my way over there. So higher grade versions of your currently equipped weapons and items exist. Would you like to equip them now? Well, yes, I absolutely would. So here we go, we can um, look at our weapons. So as you can see, I've got a machine gun, a silenced machine gun and a rocket launcher. Um, I've also got a silenced tranquilizer gun. Now this is the gun, if you're interested in hoovering people up to recruit them for your base, this is the gun that you will end up using a lot. Or your bionic arm, you can um, basically punch people around the head with that if you run out of ammo. Support weapons, we've got grenade, uh, flare grenades, which are basically calling your chopper to start strafing the area. Uh, C4 that you can remote control, magazine to distract people, and flare supplies. Uh, this basically lets you call in ammunition or suppressors. Um, a phantom cigar, which passes time, a box, the classic Metal Gear Solid box, of course, to hide under. Um, and then we got the scope, these are the binoculars which I'll be showing you, get a lot of use out of those, the iDroid which is the computer that you look at your map and so on, and the Fulton device which is how you extract personnel and also uh, things such as machine gun emplacements, mortars and stuff which you can then send to your base. 
So I'm happy with all of that. The buddy, well I've only got one buddy at the moment which is the horse select vehicle. I don't have any vehicles unlocked at the moment and character, well that's obviously going to be snake. So it tells you the cost at the bottom of the screen there. I've got tons of money at the moment thankfully so let's get started. So you can set a drop time, so 6 o'clock in the morning uh, if you want to basically go in by day or 6 o'clock at night if you want to go in by night. Uh, it's actually much, much easier if you go in by night because then the enemies can't see you um, as well as they can by day. So I'm going to drop in by night. So I've just got a bit of loading now and then the helicopter will actually drop us off at the landing site that I specified on the map during the mission select. So there we go, that's ready now. So, got Snake looking a little bit moody, first of all. 6.14, oh, running 40 minutes late by the looks of it. So, um, I probably should have uh, gone back to the base and showered off before doing this. If you actually go too many missions before showering, then you actually get flies buzzing around you. So, oh, so we've got a new side ops added. So you can actually get the side mounted machine gun there, so if you're dropping right into the middle of a base then you can uh, do a bit of strafing there. Saw a few animals over there, if you fulton them out then that can earn you a bit of money. Okay, let's get rid of that. You'll notice a bit of 80s gold playing in the background there. So the helicopter now is going to depart, leaving us with D-Horse. So let's just whip up the map. Okay, so we're going here to the Smeezy Laman base, uh, which is... Okay, so I'm going to lay down a marker so that's visible. So if I lay the marker down there, then that will take me to the entrance of that base there. So now we can see that's about 600 metres that way. So I'm going to jump on the horse and get it going. Now you have to be fairly careful when you're on the roads in that. Uh, basically you get troop convoys, you get cars with enemy troops driving around and if they see you then uh, they tend not to react well to your presence. So we've got, so we've basically got a base up there, we've actually got a couple of donkeys here, so uh, what I'm going to do is get my bionic arm out and um, <laughs> knock them out. He's taking a bit of doing. I think I'm actually going to have to tranquilize him then. Okay, so, oh dear. Okay, sorry, animal rights people, if you're watching. So, uh, let's try not to tranquilize my own horse. Where have you gone? Okay, he's run away. What you can actually do is fulton them out. And, ah, oh, there he is. Oh, it looks like he's uh, running off. I'll just shoot him up the arse. There we go. He doesn't seem to be going down. Give him another one. Try and get him in the head. I'm going to end up needing a... Ah, oh, there we go. He's going down. So the closer to their head you shoot them, the uh, quicker they go down. So okay, so you can see that showing on the screen, if you fault in him, that's a 100% chance that it'll be successful. So I'm going to do that now. So that attaches a little balloon, which makes him disappear into the sky. And then a helicopter picks him up and takes him back to your base, and then you can sell him. Um, later on, you can actually unlock a zoo. So let's just shoot this guy. There we go, got him in the head that time. 
So what I'm going to actually need to do is get in an ammo drop before the uh, before I get to the base, so that I'm not short on ammo. So right, I basically need to make sure that no one from this base sees me. So just have a quick look at the map. So we should be able to bypass this base. You can see the intel department actually uh, worked out that there are some enemies there. So. Um, there we go. The Intel team is just letting us know about that again. So what I'm actually going to do... I'm just going to have a look at the side up this actually. Oh, there we go. It's unlocked. Yeah, it's unlocked some extra missions down there. So we'll come to those later. So I'm actually going to drop the horse around. We shouldn't be seen if I stick to this little path around the back here. And then I'm going to carry on on my way to that base there. So, okay, we should be able to take a shortcut up here. Okay, so the asses have made their way back to base and you'll see that's unlocked a bit of money there. Right, what I'm going to do is get off my horse here because I suspect we're going to be getting close to the enemy. And actually, what I'm also going to do is uh, I'm going to call in a supply drop. So I just want some more ammo there for my guns because I had to use some for my uh, for getting those getting those asses getting those asses back to base. So you can see there uh, that's where the supplies will drop. That will be coming in any second now. Right, here we go. That should be appearing in the sky. Any moment. So you can see a little number depicting it uh, falling down. Can't see it at the moment. There it is. Okay, and that's dropped uh, a nice load of ammo there for me to pick up. There we go. So that's got my tranquilize the gun back up to full speed so when I did a story mission here there were actually some snipers up here um, I can't see anyone up there at the moment so we should be okay Try now just make sure there's no one up here either nope okay so we should be okay to sneak through this little uh, alcove here. Medicinal plants are located, apparently. Um, apparently, I'm right next to them, but I can't see them. So basically, plants are oh, here. They are. So you can actually collect those, and they basically uh, help you pay for stuff when you're researching them or ordering new stuff. So, okay, so it looks like there's no one out here. So I'm going to nip through here. It's nice and dark in there. And then I expect to encounter some enemy guards on patrol. So I'm in sort of crouch, crouch sneaking mode at the moment. Okay. So the intel team has found an enemy there. So... If I recall correctly from the story mission when I came to this base, there was a, a lookout post just around this corner here. Okay, and sure enough. Okay, so by basically viewing this guy with my binoculars, that's marked him on the map. That means he will always be visible from now on, even if his even if he's not in sight anymore. And also, um, it analyzes his skills. You can see he's good, uh, is a good mechanic, he's a C grade mechanic. So that means if I take him down, so okay, so that's detected that I'm at the right area for the side up. So if I basically take him down, I can extract him and he will then start working for me and putting those skills to use for my benefit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to crawl up to his little tower there. 
and then I'm going to uh, basically knock him unconscious. Okay, so I should be able to get up there without him seeing me. And then if I grab hold of him. Okay, so he saw me and the game, as you can see, gives you a little bit of time to react to that. So I've grabbed him so I can hold down left one, ask him where his mates are. Where are your friends? Okay, but he doesn't want to tell us. Okay, but he has told us where his specialist is posted. So that may or may not be the person that we're here to extract, right? He's actually just the other side of the rock there. So there's the specialist. We've got another specialist there as well. So there's actually a whole load of guys behind here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pick him up. And I'm going to drop down here with him. And I'm just going to run around the corner here. Just put a little bit of distance between myself and these guys here. Drop him here. And then, okay, it's a nice clear area. Then I'm going to extract him with the Fulton device. So that we can put his skills to use. Back at base. And off he goes. Right, so it looks like we managed to do that without without attracting too much attention. Which is always good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sneak around here. Okay, so the intel team's going wild with uh, enemy presence at the moment. So I'm just going to see if I can uh, spot some of those with my binoculars. Because obviously once they're spotted, they're then constantly... Uh, their positions are constantly relayed to my map. Right, it looks like there's someone down there. That's the target. Ah, oh, and this is our target. He doesn't look that highly skilled, to be honest, from the... Uh... Oh no, here he is. Oh, here he... Yeah, so he's a B-grade mechanic, so... Yeah, he's obviously going to make a pretty valuable member of the team. Um, just collect these plants here. Tarragon. So I'm just, what I'm going to do before I go down there is mark as many soldiers as I can. It's never a good idea just to go blazing in. Um, there's actually quite a few soldiers down here. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five. Here's another one, six. He's actually quite well skilled. He's got a B grade as well. So I'm going to want to try and take as many of these alive as I can. It would be relatively easy actually to just get the machine gun out and go running down there and gun them all down. But that would be no good in terms of uh, uh, recruiting. So as you can see there, air radar is already down. That's where I blew it up in a previous mission. You can also see that uh, this has been blown up there, external communications. So if they do see me, they won't be able to call for backup. So there's a specialist that the guy I interrogated told me about. Not a particularly talented specialist by the look of it. Um, so we've got a gun emplacement here. My Fulton skill isn't quite good enough for that yet. So, okay, it looks like we've got then three people around this side. No, ah, oh, here we go, one guy in the middle. And then we've got a whole load of guys over here. One, two, three, four, five, six guys over here. So what I'm actually, <coughs> excuse me, going to do is sneak over to this side. Oh, there's another guy there as well. I'm actually going to sneak over to this side and start thinning them out from the left and then make my way into the middle and then when there's only those guys left I'm just going to actually make sure that there's no one lurking around here. It doesn't look like it. Okay, I'm reasonably confident that I've got everyone marked 
or everyone that's nearby marks anyway. Okay, let's uh, head over here. So first of all, I'm going to pop this guy here. Using my tranquilizer gun so I can fulton him out. So by laying down, I'm just going to see what time it is. Okay, 11 o'clock. Still got lots of, lots of darkness left. So I'm just going to actually pop him in the head. And then he goes to sleep straight away. Okay. Right, next I'm going to go and get this guy over here. As long as he doesn't see me first. move a little bit more slowly. I don't want to fault on him just yet because we're a little bit too close to his buddies. So what I'm going to do is see if I can get as close to this guy as I can without him seeing me, preferably. Right, I'm right in his field of vision so I've got to be careful here. Okay, let's see if I can have him. Oh shit. Oh, missed. Okay, gotcha. Just reload. Okay, so I'm now going to go around and get this guy here. We've got a couple of guys having a conversation here. Right, I'm not going to fault him just yet either. I'll go and take this guy here. So it looks like one of the soldiers is asleep over there, which will should be of help a bit later on. I'll just nip around the side of him so I'm not completely in vision. Actually, what I may do, save on sleep darts, I'll see if I can get around behind him and then grab hold of him like I did the guy in the outpost. Okay, so just make my way around behind him. Nobody else here, so... No. Right, have you. Just get him a little bit away so no one sees. And then interrogate him. You'll find a highly skilled soldier here. Okay, so he's just told us where someone who's worth taking out is. Okay, so we'll deal with that later. Ah, right, I've just realised there's another guy here, so it's lucky I didn't fault on him straight away. Right, what may happen is he may actually find one of the bodies that I've left littered around. So I'm just going to nip around and take him out. Hopefully no one will see. Oh shit. Right, that didn't quite go to plan, but it ended well. Where are your friends? Spit it out. Okay. Right, I'm going to start actually faulting some of these guys out now. So we'll start off with him. Hopefully he's far enough away that his mates won't see. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to have this guy next. He's coming too. Roger that. Yeah, they're pretty much all coming if I have my way. Okay, so let's just go around here and have these two guys. Hoping that these two guys in the middle won't see. They may be a little bit close. So, yeah, I mean, it is still dark, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so, so far so good. This guy's a little bit closer. He may be a li little bit closer for comfort, actually. What I might actually do is pick him up and take him a little bit further away before I fault him out. 
and then hopefully we should be able to do that without being seen. Okay, this should be far enough. Alright then. So what I'm going to do now is clear out these two guys. I'll probably have to use my tranquilizer gun as uh, if I if I grab one of them then the other one will basically see. I can see some resources in here glowing away as well so once I've taken these two out I'll collect those. It looks like they're actually going to have a conversation. So what I'm going to do is have him first. Shit. Okay, missed. Shit. Oh dear, this is not going well. Okay, that was a bit of a cock up. Right, I'm going to get rid of them before they send someone to check it out. Okay, they, they're actually going on alert now because I, cause, cause I basically cocked that up. I'm going to collect this stuff here before they come over. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Okay, so I've, I've still got probably enough sleep darts to clear the rest of these guys out. So here they come. So I'm just going to get out of the way. I mean, the good news is it's actually made them spread out because there, there were a whole load of them together. So now they're all actually moving out and around, which means I should actually be able to pick them off a little bit easier. So this guy is first on my list. Now they're going to be a lot more alert than the other guys, so I need to be careful. Okay, there's one. Here comes his mate. He can now see me. There we go, but I got him before he had a chance to call it in. So let's just get these two guys fulton'd. Okay, so that leaves the target and two of his mates. So I'm going to sneak in, ah, oh, shit, too. there's a guy there, right, it's someone I hadn't actually marked, okay, he can actually see me right now, so I'm going to try and get back a bit and then I'll uh, see if I can pop him with my tranquilizer. Got him. Okay. Right, let's get him extracted, and then we've got the target and two other guys, unless there's anyone else I've missed. Entirely possible. So I've got nine sleep darts left, so I should be okay. So, extract him. Just got a few more guys here. So they're still searching for me, so again, I need to be a bit careful. Okay, they just uh, spotted me again. So I'm going to nip around here. And if one of them comes looking for me, then I can... Right, so there's two of them together, which makes it a little bit awkward. Right. The fact they're in alert status now, I mean, it's not going to be quite so easy to uh, to pop them without their friends noticing. So here we go. So let's get on the ground, so I'm not quite so visible. Right, I really don't want to end up... Ah, oh, we've got a sandstorm coming, and that's actually that's actually pretty useful, because that cuts visibility right down. Um, so that means I'm going to be able to run around and do my thing a lot more easily. So I need to get back a bit so I can do this guy. I think he's got a helmet on, actually. Yeah, shit. Oh, that's... 
Oh, that's not playing fair. Oh dear. I was hoping he was going to come out by himself. But no either. I hope this sandstorm comes in quickly. Okay, here it comes. That's good. That's really good timing actually. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do is nip around behind, grab this guy and take him out. all going a little bit wrong. Okay. Kind of salvaged the situation there a little bit, so I'll just go and grab this guy. This sandstorm really saved my ass, actually. Okay. I don't know whether he's actually, he actually may be the last one. Okay. Okay, that's the last one then. So outpost captured means I've basically cleared away all of the enemies, which is good. So what I'm going to do now is just wait for the... You'll see that it says 40%, so if I try and extract him whilst the sandstorm's taking place, then there's a good chance that he might basically die uh, in the process. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to grab the target and take him out into the open. To increase the chances of the Fulton succeed, succeeding. Uh, there we go, so that's 100% now. So if I Fulton him out, then that will be mission complete. And off he goes. There we go. He's coming too. Roger that. So that's 60,000 payments. We've got 11 new soldiers. All the teams are going up. Okay, so that basically, uh, so this guy has just um, woke up. So what I'm going to do is just nip around. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Yeah, no, you're not going to be using that. Oh, he's got some diamonds for me. Right, let's uh, get him holding out the way. Well, they're entering alert status, but this is basically the last guy, so I'm not going to do him much good. Right, let's see where these diamonds are he's just told me about. Oh, okay, so up in the... Here we go. So what I'm actually going to do is... Uh, he's coming too. I'm just going to nip that. around and uh, see if there's any more resources to pick up now that I don't have to sneak around. Okay, it looks like there aren't any in here. Is there any in here? No, nothing. Okay, nothing around here. Got a shack up here, we'll just have a look in there. Nope, nothing here either. What I'm also going to do, I'm actually going to mark these three diamonds on my map so I can nip up and get them. Okay, it's all up there. So I'll just have a look around here first, make sure that there's nothing I've missed. Doesn't look like it. What actually happens as well, uh, I'll just have a look at the time. So at 3.38 in the morning, what happens is in the morning there's a shift change. So a local guards will basically come in to relieve the guards who, as far as they're concerned, are still on patrol. But of course they're all gone, so what will actually happen is there'll be a whole load more guards for me to deal with. But, um, so that's just a radio we can hear there, nothing to worry about. So I'm going to go up here then and grab these rough diamonds, and what I'm also going to do actually uh, because I'm nearly finished here, is calling the chopper to pick me up. So we go to helicopter, pick up, air support, basically they'd turn up and start strafing the area with their machine gun. 
Um, no need for that at the moment, though. So, because I've got their air defences, we can actually land the chopper right in the middle of the base. So, Roger. that's what I'm going to do. So, in the meantime, I'm going to come in here. So, the helicopter just takes a few minutes to turn up. So, I'm going to just run around here. Um, so I just need to find a way up here. Let's climb up. Okay, right, so if we drop down here, we should be able to get to those diamonds. So basically, by finding diamonds, you can then sell those to increase your pool of money. So here's one. Let's pick it up. There we go, that's 10,000 GMP. I'm not sure what GMP stands for. Ah, oh, we've got a rough diamond and some resources. Okay, so the helicopter's just coming in. There you go, you can just see him there. And there's the, the music playing. You can actually decide what music. You find tapes as you play, and then you can basically set your favourites to, uh, to play whenever it comes in to pick you up or whenever it comes in to strafe the area with gunfire. So I'm just going to go to this last rough diamond which is just up here. Okay, it seems... Okay, it sounds like some more enemy soldiers have turned out, even though it said that I captured the outpost. Now what's this. There's something shining there. So before I get into the chopper, so the intel team, okay, so there's some snipers I reckon just the other side of there. I'm just going to see what that was um, flashing. There it is. Yeah, there's a diamond there, got the looks of it. So there we go. That was well spotted. Right. It looks like we've got some uh, enemy soldiers that try to attack our chopper, but the chopper dealt with them fairly well. So let's get him. I just grabbed the gun in case there's any more of them. Can't see anyone else there. Ah, oh, so D Horse is basically falling out of the area now. Just uh, pay him our compliments as we leave. Okay, there we go. So we're now departing the area and we've basically. Okay, so it's a nice little payday there. So we got paid for finishing the mission, paid for the diamonds. Some more soldiers went into the mother base there. So what we can do now once we're back in the helicopter is I can pull up the mother base menu. And uh, there we go. So the aerial command center as it's called. So what we can do, we can go to um, can go to development and it should have actually unlocked some new stuff to develop. So let's see what that is. Um, I don't think that was there before, the grenade launcher, we've got some sniper rifles which I'm pretty sure were present. So we've got the flare grenade that calls in the chopper, um, and a supply drop. We can uh, increase the stopping power, the hang grenade, uh, smoke grenade you can develop, capture cage to capture animals which you can then sell. Um, okay, there's nothing really of interest, so uh, yeah, a little, little bit disappointing. What we can actually do now we've got some more staff is we can actually go into the staff management and then if I press the right stick then that will reassign all of the new staff members. 
Okay, but it looks like no one was actually good enough to increase the uh, base. So what I'm going to do now is go back to Mother Base. So if you just go to Mission, so we can see the side up list has been updated. So this kind of lets you repeat missions so you can just sort of build up your soldiers that you have working for you. We've got some target practice here as well, which um, actually I'll do one of those now. So we'll go to the R&D platform, do a bit of target practice. Move to the side up location, yes. So we'll just land at Mother Base there. At the R&D platform. And then we should be able to complete that mission. And what we can also do back at Mother Base is uh, kind of meet up with the staff there. If you bump into them, it increases their morale for some reason. Um, there's also your pet dog there, and um, you can have a shower, wash all that blood off so you don't get flies on you. Uh, here's our uh, um, man, Ocelot. Again. So he's obviously going to give us the mission briefing. See that in the movies? That's an automatic. Don't bother trying to dampen the recoil. You do that with a revolver. We diamond dogs are now a force to be reckoned with. We've got the world's attention. We're not some tribal militia. So don't act like one. You will learn how a real soldier fights. You will forget everything Hollywood taught you. And if I catch you doing something else, you'll know it. Engravings give you no tactical advantage whatsoever. That was some fancy shooting. Pretty good. Smell the machismo. All right, then. So it looks like the choppers are up. Where's that shower? Oh, we've got a car to drive around. So, ah, uh, there's the shower. So, just get some of that blood washed off. The snake likes to shower in his clothes. Physically and mentally refreshed. It actually increases your reflex time as well. So if we go over to the target, then we should be able to do the target practice mission. So if you bump into them for some reason it increases their staff morale. Boss, if you need supplies, let us know. Boss. Which is a bit weird, but there we go. Let's go to this and hit the uh Okay, let's just try selecting the mission again. So target practice, there we go. Oh, it's actually dropped me off on the wrong platform, so um, what I'll do is get in the car and drive down there. They like their long bridges out in the middle of the ocean. No car radio. See, since since Grand Theft Auto and Saints Row, I feel like it should be uh, a faux pop station on or something when you get into a car. Try not to drive it into the sea on the way there. Okay. So I thought when selecting this side up the chopper may actually have dropped me off there rather than 
in the middle of nowhere. I guess they wanted me to see that cutscene with Revolver Ocelot though. Okay, nearly there. So... Nearly crashed it. Just find the stairs, we should be able to go up and start the mission. Uh, let's have a look at uh, landing as well. You can actually customise that logo yourself. So I've, uh, I've customised it in honour of Parallax Live Art Hits and Stairs. So let's go up. I wonder if the mission's actually going to be as arduous as actually finding the damn thing. Okay, that's really unhelpful. How the hell are we supposed to get up there? I wish, I wish the helicopter had dropped me off up there like it was supposed to have done. Whoops. Okay, I've just uh, actually fell off the thing. Boss. Boss. See if I can find a ladder or something. Ah, oh, here we go. The pipes, huh? They're strong enough. Could make for a nice shortcut. That's just as well, really. So, where do we go from here? All he wants to do is uh, make me drop down. Okay, so that's that pretty unhelpful. Let's see if there's a pipe that can. Ah, oh, here we go. So if we climb up here and get onto the walkway. Got to admit, this isn't the uh, most thrilling part of the game. Poison Ash says hello Michael. Hi there Poison Ash. Thanks so much for joining me this evening. It's getting... Oh shit. Just drops off the platform though. I meant to uh, climb up. Just getting a bit of Metal Gear Solid 5 going. Quick playthrough to uh, kind of describe the game for anyone who's thinking of playing. By buying it rather. So... Okay. Now I, I did actually see a diamond there, so... Oh, bollocks. It's dropped again. But again, yeah, actually finding the mission is the, going to be the hardest part of it. Oh, it's for God's sake. It's starting to get a little crowded around here, boss. Boss! Okay, this is getting a little bit annoying now. You know what, I think I'll do without the diamond. I just want to uh, actually get up to... Ah, oh, okay, so he actually, he actually jumped at this time. Okay, he doesn't seem to want to jump over that pipe, but that's okay. Not that bothered, anyway. So, ah, and here's some stairs that should hopefully take. Smash Papaya says hello, man. Hi there, Smash Papaya. Thanks so, so much for joining me. Thanks for uh, joining in with a bit of Metal Gear Solid 5 stealth action. I've just uh, finished the side up, and I'm now just looking for the, uh, the target practice mission. And um, failing to find it at the moment. Now why on earth would there be a staircase that goes absolutely nowhere? Now what was that? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, there's a diamond there. Let's grab that, there we go. Right, let's try not to fall off the pipe. That's, uh... 
Let's give him a little bit of uh, interrogation there. There you go. That's what you get for getting in the way, sunshine. Right, so I think we may actually have uh, found the mission. It would have been really nice if the chopper had chopped me off here as I requested. Poison Ash, do you think the Konami code works in this game? Oh, that's a good point. So what is it? Up, up, down, down, left, left, right, right. A, B, A, B, wasn't it? Let's give it a try. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, left, left, right, right. A, B, A, B. Uh, well, it didn't work, I'm afraid, Poison Ash, but uh, it was a good suggestion. Right, looks like we're going to do some target practice. So we've got 35 targets. Um, which I can't actually see at the moment. Where are they? Okay, so I've got actually no idea where the next target is. Okay, I've got a funny feeling that I'm going to fail this mission. Oh, here we go. I should have been coming down here. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Select start. Laugh out. <laughs> okay, I'll give I'll give that a go in a minute. Oh, sh shite. Okay, I managed to die doing a target practice Snake, mission me. on Snake, Mother Base. <laughs> I'll try typing that in Poison Ash as soon as I respawn there. So, let's see. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. No, didn't work, I'm afraid, Poison Ash. <laughs> nice suggestion, but uh, yeah, I'm afraid it didn't work. Mortal Machine only just work in from work here. Oh, okay, a mortal machine. That must have been a late one tonight. Thanks so much for joining me. Just getting a bit of Metal Gear Solid going. Um, do you know what? Welcome home, boss. I really can't boss. be bothered with uh, the only target practice I want is on my uh, guys. So what I'm going to do is I can't be bothered with this target practice mission. I'm actually going to uh, get a proper mission going. So, here we go. Let's actually go to the mission list and get a story going. So, Red Brass is the next one. Flacanono30 says, Sup, dude. Hi there, Flacco. Thanks ever so much for joining me. This game is game of the year to me. Do you know what? Loads of people were saying in my, uh, during my show that they thought this was going to be the game of the year. And I was pretty much saying every time, no, I'm not so sure about that. You know, I thought it was going to be maybe The Witcher 3 or, um, or what's it, Fallout 4. And I must say, now I've actually played this, I'm really glad to say that I was wrong. This is definitely a contender for Game of the Year. Mortal Machines is going into the field. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got Red Brass, the next one. Three commanders of key Soviet units are holding an emergency meeting at Rialo Village. Use this opportunity to eliminate all of them at once. Sounds good to me. I think they're showing three different spots on the map, so... Uh, okay. I actually quite like the sound of uh, this one. Extract the prisoner at the palace. Hmm. No, I guess I better do them in order. So I'm going to play the briefing tape. This contract comes from a rebel guerrilla faction in Afghanistan. They've gotten wind of a rare meeting between three Soviet commanders running key units in the region. The location is Viala Village. This information comes from a mole planted within the Soviet's Arab support organization. The guerrillas see this as a one-of-a-kind chance to weaken the Soviet forces in one stroke. 
But if they act themselves, it'll expose the existence of their mole. That's why this job falls to us. The request is simple. Eliminate the three pigs, by any means. If these commanders are as good as they say, it'd be a shame to kill them. But I leave that decision up to you. Okay, so what he's basically saying is try and extract them by fault and device rather than just killing them. Uh, Flacco Nono says, I agree with you, I'm 43% and still so much to do. Yeah, I'm a mere 6% in. I've had this game for just over two weeks now. So, area of operations is different, except mission from aerial command centre. Okay, so I better call the chopper in then. Uh, it's call for a pickup. So, here it comes. I can hear the helicopter there already. Cute puppy! Cute puppy! Fuck off. So, there's my snazzily customised chopper. Get on board. <laughs> Flack and Oka just laugh out loud. Take on me, no. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually infiltrated that palace long before I actually had a mission there, just purely so I could get that tape. I originally had Kim Wilde, Kids in America, but I thought, you know what, that's not good enough. It's gotta be tape on me. The trouble is it's going to, uh, it's going to set YouTube's content ID uh, system wild. <laughs> I'll probably end up having to edit it out. Immortal Machine says, aha. Aha indeed. Aha, it is aha. They also did a really good Bond theme. It was um, The Living Daylights. That's another really good aha song. Okay, so now we're back in the chopper. Oh, that's weird. I still seem to be covered in blood. Okay, that means I've got to basically go back to bloody mother base. Yeah, it's basically because I died before, um, after I had the shower, so I better just quickly nip down and do that so I don't get flies buzzing around me. Uh, Flakonoko says, I got Snake Eater, a must and my favourite of all time. Yeah, Snake Eater was the third one, if I'm recalling correctly. Um, it was on the PS2. Um, yeah, I thought it was okay. I thought... I thought the thing with the Snake Eater, I thought I thought that was when the series started to plateau a little bit actually. I thought the first one was just really, really good. The second one was, I don't know, kind of made some interesting decisions, I guess is a charitable way to put it. And then the third one sort of didn't really take it on that much. And then... Um, the fourth one I just hated on the PS3. Hated it. Didn't like it at all. Flakonoko, Snake Eater, the song for my heli laugh. Oh, I thought you were talking about the game, Snake Eater. There we go. Okay, who else wants some? There we go. And as for you, my friend, shut up. Um, I don't believe I've listened to the uh, Snake Eater song, actually. It's, uh, let's see if I've got it on the tape player. Okay, so... Uh, cassette tape. Music. Got Rebel Yell. Uh, Snake Eater. No, not there. I haven't unlocked it yet, Flakonoko. Immortal Machine says, terrible way to treat your employees. The funny thing is, Immortal Machine, when you do that, it actually increases their morale. So if I find that guy. Ah, oh, he's disappeared now. 
let me just call the chopper back. So I'm not standing around for ages waiting. Roger. So if I find that guy, I'm bumping into them actually um, increases staff morale. So we've already done that, so it won't do it again. Poison Ash says, no, not the puppy. What you mean, that one? Oh, shit. I think I may have actually just killed him. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you lost your mind? Maybe you're not the big boss we hoped for after all. Okay, so that's actually the first time I did one of that. I actually did that. That was a bit of a cock up. Uh, Poison Ash says, then again, it was being a bitch. Oh, very good, Poison Ash. So, I've got to have my shower again. Like an oak mo says, laugh out loud. Peter's gonna oh, ban you for animal cruelty. Laugh out loud. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna absolutely flip if they get wind of this. <laughs> so, as you can see, when you bump into them, it actually increases staff morale. Right, let's get that helicopter in again. Roger. See if I can actually uh, start this mission before it's, before it's time for bed. Right, and this is what you get for failing me the mission, you bastard. Okay, the chopper's in. So let's get in there. There we go. Difficult to get a headshot from this distance. Uh, Flucker No No says, Have you played Mad Max? Do you know what? I haven't yet, actually. Um, I was kind of a loose end for a few days before my birthday in September. And I, I very nearly bought it, but um, I didn't in the end because basically then my birthday came around. I got this and Until Dawn and The Order and tear away unfolded and i've got the nathan drake collection coming in soon and I, i'm to be honest i'm not sure i'm actually going to manage to clear through that before christmas especially considering how long this game is poison ashes boss of the year 10 out of 10 half an hour. that's the thing they love it though i love it for some reason okay so let's get back into the mission list so select red brass accept the mission okay so um, so this is where the actual meeting's taking place, so I can drop in at any of these. So I'll probably drop in at uh, this one here, I guess, because that's where it wanted me to. Do you know what? No, actually, I'll go this one here, because then there's, uh, it's a clearer run into the village. So that'll drop me in now. So let's commence the mission. Immortal Machine says, just adding to the backlog, I see. Yeah, absolutely, Immortal Machine. It's, if I finish all of this by Christmas, I'll be really surprised. I'm really interested with Mad Max, so Mad Max got really killed in the reviews, but pretty much everyone I know that's played it really likes it. So I think it's just yet another reviewer failure. So, okay, so you'll see that I chose to drop it at 6 o'clock again, so that means it'll be dark. Ah, so it's because it's a proper story mission, we actually get a uh, titles and uh, all that shit that goes with it. Starring Polished Venom Snake. The mission is to eliminate all three. How you do it is up to you, boss. Good luck. Okay, so obviously the ideal scenario is to tranquilize them all and fulton them out to so there. So it's marked the village. Target's anticipated travel route and the meeting location to your map. Take a look. 
Okay, so there's a travel route. Ah, uh, that's probably why it wanted to chop me in there then. Flacco no this is bro, go gotta go to bed. Uh US time up and I'll take care, please keep streaming. Will do, Flacco. Thanks ever so much for joining me tonight. You're awesome. Oh thanks very much, Flacco no You're you're awesome too. Thanks ever so much for watching. Uh I hope to come back next time. And Mortal Machine says I'm struggling to finish Arkham Knight at the moment. Do you know, I still haven't played that either. I'm just, I'm so behind with games. Okay then. So, I think what I should probably do is head out to this road and see if I can... Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to go to the village, I think, actually, and just wait for them to turn up there. Whoops. Poison Ashes, good night. Flacco, no, no. Yeah, absolutely. Good night to you. It's just coming up to four o'clock in the morning here, actually. I should. Uh... Oh, got some plants there. Just collect those. Golden Crescent. Flacco, no, no. Says night, guys. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for dropping by, Flacco, no, no. Immortal Machine says later, dude, as well. Okay. Right, let's start heading to the uh, outpost. Mortal Machine says stop horsing around. I see what you did there. It's a lot of puns in the chat tonight, actually. Very pun-based chat. Okay, so I reckon if I go and loiter around on this road, I might actually be able to intercept the guy as he heads to the village. Poison Asher, the Mortal Machine, same laugh out loud. The ending was spoiled for me. I hear a lot of things about Arkham Knight. Some people say it was really good, and then, you know, some say that it was a little bit overrated and a bit disappointing. Do you know what, balls to I'm going to actually just go straight into the village and uh, clear it out. Okay, so the intel team has um, warned me of some enemies ahead. Let's see if I can spot them with the binoculars. A mortal machine says, oh no, the internet is a cruel mistress. Nothing is safe anymore. Oh, is this the ending of Batman Arkham Knight you're talking about there? I'm actually waiting for the PC version to be fixed before I play it. I wanted to play it ages ago, but because the PC version was such a such a clusterfuck. Okay, I'm not seeing too many enemies around here. But I'm seeing none at all. Okay, apparently there are some around. Ah, oh, I can hear a car coming in. That's presumably one of the guys. Poison Ash says, laugh out loud indeed. So I can hear a car turning up, I reckon that's got one of the commanders in. Just spoilers in general, sites like iGen constantly spoil things daily, says a mortal machine. Yeah, I know what you mean actually. It's, it's really hard to avoid spoilers on the internet these days. Because, I mean, the journalists that write all this stuff seem to be dickheads that don't know, they just don't seem to comprehend the fact that people don't want stuff spoiling all the time. I really need to spot these cars going in. Oh, there he goes. Ready for their meeting, I assume. Is that him? Ah. Okay, we've got one of the targets, that's good. So, maybe if I nip around, I can start uh, thinning out their numbers. IGN is a cesspool, says Poison Ash. Yeah, do you know why? It's my theory that this is why sites like YouTube and Twitch 
are doing so well at the moment because basically the actual proper gaming journal sites are just so rubbish. Right, I've made a bit of a mess of this. I've been seen. Okay, so this guy saw me, so I'm going to have to go and have him. Oh, bollocks. Okay, luckily he didn't manage to tell any of his mates. Where are your friends? Spit it out. Shit. Okay, here we go. Right, I think he's just seen his mate on the ground. GameSpot's just as bad as IGN in my opinion, they're both shit. Okay, so I'm going to Fulton these guys out now, get them out of the way. And then see if I can go and get the target before the others turn up. That's two. And this guy makes He's coming three. Too. Roger that. There we go, so if I just go and get the target and it's gone. Poison Ashes, oh god, not GameSpot. You're gonna extract him. I mean, even stuff like Eurogamer is. Even they're only sometimes good. And VG247, I just do not know what has happened to that site. Shite. Who's seen me? Oh, bollocks. Shit, this is not good. Okay, I'm going for a run. Well, that did not go well. Okay, well I've put the target down anyway. And I'm dead. What a cock up. Talk to me! Snake! Okay, so I'm gonna respawn with the chicken hat on now. Cause that's the kind of player I am. Oh, I've gotta start again, god damn it. Oh he hasn't spawned with the chicken hat on. Okay, well at least it's left some of the enemies marked. I like game trailers for the Mortal Machine. I, I've never really used them actually, are they good? Okay, I can hear a car turning up. Machine. I like their comedy content, don't really read their reviews, etc. Okay, I'll have, to, I'll have to check it out. I was kind of toying with the idea of doing some uh, comedy content on my YouTube channel. But I don't know, I don't know if that's what people want, really. But then if I knew what people want, then I'd probably have a much more successful channel than I actually do. Okay, 
Okay. There are so many of these guys around. This is going to be really tricky. I'm going to switch on the uh, chicken hat if I die again. Poison Ash. People like puns and red panda. Okay. I certainly enjoy the puns. Chicken hat on. There we go. Apply yes. Yeah, I was thinking of maybe doing some like comedy sketches or something, but to be honest, I yeah, I don't want to lose the purity of just games coverage. Mortal Machines and what does the chicken hat do? So basically, if you die, then you respawn with the chicken hat and um, you lose, you, you basically, um, it docks your score a bit, but you could, you get to uh, move around um, in front of the enemies. They, they basically find it harder to see you. Isn't going well. Okay. And Ash says, Can I use a chicken hat for work? Laugh out loud. Yeah. If only. Having a real slumber party there. Come on, then out you come, guys. Or not. Shit. The target. Looks like we found him. That was close. Hopefully they'll just all come out and line up so I can headshot them all. Drop attack to the mortal machine. I know they just all seem to be filing out one by one at the moment. And letting me shoot them. Okay, let's start faulting them out. I think that's pretty much all three of the targets actually. I certainly went a lot better this time. Check. I saw three. Have to exfiltrate the hot zone now. Well, you know what? I'm not happy with that. I'm not going to be happy until I've actually captured this outpost. So. That's what I'm going to do. Where are your friends? Uh oh.
shit. Missed him. Gotcha. Okay. Let's have him. Right, can't fault in this because of this cover in the way, unfortunately. So we've got a couple of guys here. Got some plants. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Okay, let's fault in him and that might attract his mate over. Right, who should I have first? I think I'll have this guy. He's coming too. Roger that. And then dip around to get him. Oh, he's uh, actually I might as well fault on him. Okay, so he's nipping and have him. See if I can interrogate him first. Must be more because we still haven't captured the outpost. Completed mission task five of seven. Leave the rest to us. So we've eliminated the commanders, the three commanders, extracted, extracted them. And we've extracted the commander and the soldiers riding in his vehicle for total. Ah, so I bet there's some um, soldiers that were riding in the other vehicles as well. Which I guess if I find them, I'll get the um, completion on that as well. Maybe I should just uh, run around and make a noise so they find me rather than trying to find them. Because they could quite literally be anywhere. And that's going to make it even harder to find them. Just run around the periphery for a bit to see if I can. See if either I can spot them or they can spot me. Oh, rough diamond. Okay, so we got some. We know we've got some enemies over there, according to the intel team. So if I head over there, while well, the sandstorm's in full effect, maybe put the old night vision goggles on. There we go. So according to the map, there are enemies around here somewhere. Ah, there's one. Let's go and grab this plant first. Give them a cuddle. There we go, and that's all of them. So I'll wait for the sandstorm to finish before folding them out, so otherwise it will probably fail. And then hopefully that will be the last of the uh, mission tasks. So just wait for that to clear. Still 40% on the success chance of success there. So then, then we basically had all three of the commanders and their and their mates. There we go. And off he goes. <laughs> he left his helmet behind though. He's coming too. Roger that. 
So, let's have a look. So there's a couple of secret missions there, but I've got no idea what they are, and I don't really care. So, what I'm going to do is call in the chopper to extract, and then that'll finish that mission. So, okay, we've got a landing zone right next to the village there. Roger. So we'll call them in. What you could also do in missions like this is, of course, you can uh, destroy the um, generators there, which knock some of the lights out. wonder if there's any way we can blow up this uh, cover thing so I can extract the gun. See if I can select the uh, C4 there. Uh, if I put it... No, it doesn't want to put it there. No. There we go. That's actually towed up the gun as well. Okay. I guess we better get to the landing zone and get our off extracted. Or we could just stand by the chopper and listen to Aha's take on me for the next 10 minutes. Alright then. Yes, mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. Well, I don't like to say so myself, but uh, code name Octopus Rank A. So let's have a look. So that is about 17 minutes by the looks of it. No hits taken, no combat alerts, because obviously I died the first time, so it restarted it. Three tactical takedowns, eight headshots, 12% accuracy, 12 neutralizations, six markings, six effective interrogations. No enemy combat alerts, I did use reflex, no kills, I did retry as well, extracted the three commanders and the commanders soldiers as well. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all, so I spent 18 grand but I earned 210 grand and my heroism has gone up and so is my action rating, whatever the hell that means. There we get the credit sequence again. I think we've got about 50 odd missions. Ocelot got the details of the meeting out of that commander. It seems you've been doing your job just a little too well, boss. The Soviets have begun reinforcing the 40th Army's units in Afghanistan, sending in more men and new equipment. While things haven't exactly been easy for us up till now, they're about to get even tougher. Oh, good. Just what I want. So we've obtained an octopus emblem part. So that's so you can basically design your own logo. I've just basically got... staff from each of the teams are active in the area of operations now. That means some will be wounded, get sick, or suffer PTSD. That's where the medical team comes in. I've taken the liberty of commissioning the construction of a new medical platform. Having proper medical facilities for the men is a matter of life or death. So I put up the resources this time around. You can check on the platform's progress by selecting base facilities under the iDroid's mother base menu. Okay, so we're getting a new bit of mother base. Elite soldiers. I'll ask us to the commander that I extracted as a radar specialist. And he's also A+. Plus. And he's an A. So excellent, three really good soldiers extracted. We've got a B there. Nice, that was, um, that was pretty, pretty good result, that was. Got some good talent added to the pool. So I'll go into the uh, mother base menu as soon as we're back in the chopper and um, see what this new medical plan was. We've got some new side ops as well by the looks of it. Quite a few new ones. 
Extract the highly skilled soldier. Uh, a diamond dog staff member has been captured. And eliminate the heavy infantry. And these crappy target practice missions that I'm ignoring. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, let's go to staff management and assign our new staff members. Which has actually leveled down two of our teams. Yes, less than ideal. Um, base facilities, here we go. So here's that new medical platform that's going to take 16 minutes. Platform with facilities for the medical team which treats staff injuries and illnesses. Staff recovery time decreases as you add more staff and the unit level increases. Increasing the unit level also lessens the drop in fault and extraction success rate of injured subjects. Oh, that could be quite useful then. Okay, so so that's actually building now. That takes that's 16 minutes of real time, by the way, not in game time. I'm still waiting for enough materials to increase my base development platform. I need 4,000. I've only got three and a half thousand at the moment, though. Hopefully, next time I play, I'll be able to increase that. Intel platform. That uses fuel resources, so I won't be upgrading that just yet. Um, I wonder whether it's worth upgrading the support. I'll probably Google that first. Okay, so, um, yeah. So we've still got the uh, remaining three missions. But what I'm going to do is finish there for the night. Um, thanks guys in chat for joining me, really good of you to do so, I love it when you guys come in and keep me company, especially with your pun based chat. Um, by the way, if any of you guys in chat wants a beta code for um, Rainbow Six Siege, I've got some codes for the PC and the PS4 version, so <clears throat> say so in chat if you want one of those and I'll get that, um, I'll get that message to you. Immortal Machine says, this game looks like a mind fuck with all these things to do. Life. It's, I tell you what, Immortal Machine, it is a bloody long game. The side I really focus on the side ops. I just find the side ops a lot of fun. And you can literally spend a good couple of nights playing the side ops and not even touch the story missions. And I've barely scratched the surface with the story missions. And as you can see, I'm only 7% overall completion. Um, okay then guys, uh, thanks ever so much for joining me, um, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks ever so much for watching, um, there's lots more videos just like this on the page, so do have a look around, do hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the video, found it interesting. Immortal Machine says, oh, I'll take a PS4 code if there's one going, laugh out loud. Okay Immortal Machine, I'll, um, what I'll do, I'll send you, um, I'll message that to you using the PS4 because um, I've just got to I've just got to dig it out of my email so as soon as I finish streaming I'll I'll message the PS4 code to you uh, let me know what you think okay guys thanks ever so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next stream